um no displaced uh displaced anger i'm sorry displaced anger or uh, misappropriated energy <clears throat> stuck emotions uh damaged childhoods you know that's that's what queen's flip was speaking about putting brothers up onto game right and you see it more that the consciousness is coming into it. Look at the brother um, Stack Stone and the brother from the Bronx, right? Hoc Hocus. I think it's Hocus 4-5 or something. Hocus 4-5. These brothers talking about veganism and things like that. But I want to get back to what Queens Flip was speaking about, about displaced anger. A lot of people have it, but they don't know what it is. And some of them say, I ain't got that. You got that, man. You got trapped emotions. You got displaced. And it becomes displaced anger. Because then you start throwing that anger at people that have nothing to do with it, man. Displaced anger. You go to work. And crack is talking to you crazy. You come home and you getting at your black queen or you getting at your wife. Whatever nationality she is, you getting at her because you, you displaced the energy. You threw it on wifey when the energy needs to go to self. Or you need to get at your boss or whoever it is. You know, whoever it is. But I like that. Uh, when Brother Queen's Flip was speaking about that, because you see that a lot of times in the hood, uh, people, you know, people <clears throat> get into arguments, scuffles, next thing you know, next day they're apologizing. Because they realize that that energy wasn't for that person, that argument wasn't for that person. You see some people arguing, and you know, some people got into an argument with you, and you're like, where is this coming from? <laughs> it's displaced anger, man. It's like somebody throwing you a volleyball, right? And you throwing it to someone that's not in the game. Someone in the crowd. You just throw the ball to them. That's like displaced anger, man. I don't deserve that. You know, it's, it's plenty of times, you know, people in relationships, wifey or hubby come home angry of something. And they just, they dump it right on, on wifey or, or, or hubby. Dump it right on them. That's displaced anger, man. And some people say, okay, well, how can I get rid of that displaced anger, man? I mean, it starts with, <clears throat> with self. With your thoughts, man. You got to have conscious thoughts of what you're doing and what you're saying on this YouTube. And everyone included, man. Sometimes we slip up and we say things and we say, wow, man, maybe I shouldn't have said that if it offends this person or that or these people that bad. But we got to um, get into our right state of mind and we got to think more, better. You know, we got to think more. I mean, we, we do think a lot. You know, some of us stress. But we have to do better, meaning that we have to uh, use the proper positive thinking. Positive thinking. You see it a lot, man. Dudes get in arguments, right? Next week, they're friends. <clears throat> because they realize that this energy, you know, I, I shouldn't have did that, man. I shouldn't have came at you like that, my bad. But a lot of times, it's like hot potato, no one wants to feel bad, right? So, something bad happens to a person or they absorb a bad emotion. Uh, they experience a bad experience. Yo, they want to get that feeling off them. So they want to, they say, wow, man, I hate this feeling. But then they want to make the, uh, the next person feel that way. Because that doesn't really make any sense, right? Um, brothers go to a funeral. And they're crying, man, weeping, man. This was a good brother. He passed away. He's a good friend. I knew him since seventh grade, whatnot. But then the same night, they go out. Yo, and they, they murder um the dude who they feel murdered their man. So do you really feel that bad for a mother or a black mother? <clears throat> a lot of it is game, man. A lot of it is game, man. Um, And... We're suffering, man. A lot of us are suffering, man, from post-traumatic uh, slave syndrome and things. That is in the DNA. It's programmed in the DNA. Uh, when you see these dudes and you experience these dudes' energy, man, they're so hateful. You have to realize that it's a program. I'm not saying stop messing with them. I'm not saying to mess with them. I'm just saying you have to realize that it's a program. And most likely the people who raised them are their guardians or the people that they was around the most are also hateful people. Or maybe the people just treated them that way and it became a program and they started seeing the world and everyone else like that. You understand what I mean? You have, um, you got some good looking sisters, man. Some beautiful sisters, beautiful women, period. And they feel like they can't get a man because people have uh, told them that they were ugly, they was no good, no man is going to want to be with you. Or sometimes they just absorb 
<clears throat> the energy of their family. You know, they could be what you call the pretty, uh, the ugly duckling or, or whatever, right? They come out of this family, there's a certain type of energy in that family. Nobody works, nobody goes to school, nobody respects anyone. So they start to pick up those movements because it's a, it's a program, especially if they've been with this family since young. <clears throat> now, if you just um, meet people at a certain type of age where you already have your moral and spiritual structure, you still could be taken down, but it's a little bit harder. But people... <clears throat> It's programmed like this, man. You have women, you have people that's having children, but they have no real education on how to take care of these children or how to take care of themselves. They only can give that precious child what they know. And a lot of times they know nothing. 